my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room where I have to tell you how grateful I am to all of you because I have been reading the comments from my videos, my last couple of videos, and you all, I am just overwhelmed by your kindness. The way that you have encouraged me and just built me up, I am just so grateful. That is a feeling that, you know, you don't often get in your life. And the fact that you have taken time out of your day, out of your life, to spend 20 minutes watching me talk to you, and then beyond that, you've taken time to write a comment to me. That's huge. That's huge, and I am really, really grateful. And I had to tell you because, man, <laughs> it's just like, you know, over and over and over again. It, it, amazing, just amazing. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Okay, let's move on to sewing. Sewing. I redrafted my Vogue dress, Vogue 9357. I cannot find the envelope to this. I don't know what happened to it. It's one of those situations where I know I didn't put it somewhere or I would be able to find it. So it has fallen under something and I don't know. I'll find it eventually. But um, it's this dress. This is the dress that I made from the sheet that was very similar to this, a little bit different uh, blue. Didn't fit and I worked with it and worked with it and worked with it and worked with it and would not give up. And finally I said, that's it, <laughs> I'm done. Well, I pulled it out again and I trace off all my patterns. So I had traced this off between a 14 and a 16. So I've written on the pattern piece 15. So. I went back in, scrapped all that, and I went back in and uh, measured accurately. I cut the 16, graded it out to an 18 at what is essentially the midriff piece. It's, um, it's this piece right here, which essentially is a waistband. So did that, measured with my measuring tape, laid it all out, subtracted seam allowance and darts and all of it. And I measured me and I thought, okay, okay, I think we're good this time. I think I may cut a larger seam allowance just to make sure so I can, you know, go ahead and like cut it to an inch and then take the inch. And if it's not enough, then I'll be able to let it out. I think that's a really smart idea. A lot of people do that in the fashion industry. And I just think that's really smart. Why don't we all do that? I don't know. I found this linen in my stash. I've had it for a really long time and it's a little bit scratchy, but you know what? I can wash it again with some fabric softener and that probably would uh, soften it up, but I'm going to line the entire bodice and the midriff. So that is on the cutting table, ready to be cut out. Um, I spent time last night redrawing the pattern and then it got too late and I thought, oh, Jen, you need to go to bed because the one other time this week, I stayed up too late and I made some mistakes and I thought, what are you doing? Go to bed. <laughs> oh, you know, when you start making mistakes, then it's time to quit. I pulled out some things in my UFO box and I ditched two or three of them and I worked on two or three of them. One was a dress that I wore recently in a video. It's pink and it is very similar to the Peppermint Magazine Wide Strap Maxi. My dress is actually from a simplicity pattern from back in the 1970s. Well, it was denim. It's essentially denim. It's a very heavyweight chambray. It's denim. And I love it, but it was hot all the time because it was a maxi. So I cut it off and hemmed it and Presto change, oh, I've got a great dress now that I can wear. I was gonna do that with another dress that I had in there. It was a Laura Ashley pattern, and I decided, no, I don't think I will. But it has a flounce, well, it has several flounces all down the front, and I loved the look of it on the pattern envelope, but as is often the case, you know, it didn't look the same <laughs> in real life, partially because if you're going to sew flounces into something, 
that's one of those cases where your fabric should be the same on the wrong side and the right side because that flounce is going to go like this so the wrong side of the fabric is going to show so it's really a good idea to use a fabric that's you know either woven or printed on both sides okay i was going to shorten that and i ended up going no you know what nah i'd rather make it, make a new one don't know if i will we'll see i r was running out of paper tracing paper and i know some of you have asked me from time to time what kind of paper i use I order it from whatever place is cheapest. Often it's Amazon. Sometimes it's, um, you know, like a, a art store or something like that. It is Bian Fang. It is their, what do they call this? Sketching and tracing paper. And I get it 50 yards by 36 inches. Now I like 36 inches because I can fit a lot on it. And so I really like this paper. So. I was getting low and I got it and now you know what kind I use. This past, uh, let's see, was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Simplicity Patterns went on sale at Joanne Fabrics. I went to get these uh, patterns out of the drawer and the numbers didn't go up high enough and I thought, what is going on here? Well, I had gotten, you know, the four digit number off the website, but I thought, you know what, I bet that these are new enough that they're on top of the of the cabinets and they have those display numbers on them and sure enough found all of them well i only wanted two but i saw another one and i thought oh for crying out loud they're a dollar 99 i'm gonna get that one too okay so i got simplicity <laughs> let me get in here and get the right number for you uh 9705 this is some tops and I just really liked them. I like the neckline. I like the way that uh, they have darts and the shaping it gives. Now, everyone is probably going to say, oh, the sleeves are great. I, I don't want the sleeves. I want the short sleeved versions. So this calls for wovens, chambray, cottons, crepes, rayons, ponty knits, and sateen. So uh, it does call also for a 14 inch invisible zipper up the back, which makes sense because with this neckline, you're gonna need to get into this some kind of a way. So uh, a zipper up the back is uh, probably the best option. There are the line drawings. So I picked up that one. Now this one, I know you're probably gonna laugh. Well, you'll laugh the next two because it's like, really you have to buy a pattern for that? Well, I wanted it. Uh, this is Simplicity 9730. It is a bunch of little slips that you can put on under a top that comes down, but it's not tunic length, and you really want something underneath of it. Now, the way they are showing it here, it's a little too long for me, but that's okay. I love what they've done here, and I think that that prairie look or if you're older, I don't know, maybe younger people are doing this too, but it's a very designery kind of a look. If you're going log and look, that under slip is a great idea. Or if you just wanted to do this out of trico or some kind of very lightweight polyester and make yourself a slip, you could do that. It's just basic elastic waist slips. There is no magic to this pattern. You could easily figure this out. Just do the math, cut yourself a couple of boxes, Put a casing at the top, put a ruffle at the bottom, and there you have a slip. I thought it's $1.99. When it caught my eye in the books, you know, why do we buy patterns? Why do we buy any patterns? Because we wanted them. Now, this one kind of is funny. I just happened to see this as I was looking for the others, and I thought, oh, why not? <laughs> I like I need more patterns. This is Simplicity 9733, and it's bowl cozies. The bane of my Christmas, <laughs> it was bowl cozies. It wasn't that they're hard or I didn't like making them. Well, it kind of was that I didn't like making them, but you know, they were just tedious. But this has like casserole cozies, not just bowl cozies. And it has a mug cozy. And I thought, yeah, you know, I think that might be nice to have. So got that too. Speaking of patterns, 
I am giving away one copy of Simplicity 8640 each week in February, each Friday in February. And I'm just drawing the, you know, using a random comment generator to find a winner. And this is my favorite dress and I'm so excited to be giving it away. And it doesn't matter where you live. I'm I, actually the first one I sent to the Netherlands. So I don't care, I will send it to you because I want you to enjoy this as much as I do. In fact, it's getting about time for me to make another one. You know, whenever I'm, uh, I don't know what to do in here, making another one of these helps. It's kind of like reading a book that you've known and loved for forever to jumpstart you back into kind of the groove. So this week, I will have to put the winner here on the screen because I don't want to run the risk of mispronouncing her name. That's because your name is the only thing you will take to the grave. And I mean, you, you can't keep anything else in death, but you can keep that. So yeah, congratulations. Uh, contact me please on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Send me a direct message. I will get your address and get it in the mail. Let me tell you about what's upcoming for me that I'm gonna work on. I am going to start on the Vogue dress. I'm gonna cut it out, see if I can start putting it together. And I'm also going to work on my pool bag, which I have talked about in the past. It is all tape, uh, it's pinned together, but it's not sewn together. So someone suggested in the comments that I look up other uh, like tutorials on doing kind of a tote or a carrier and looking at those instructions and the order of operations. I thought that is so smart, so smart. So this is why I love you guys because you always educate me. You always, you know, my sewing has leveled up so much because of your suggestions. So thank you for that. Also, uh, Christine at Christine Sews A Lot has joined our little group of sewing sisters here in Florida. Uh, she's actually in South Carolina, but you know, um, she suggested to stiffen the sides of this pool bag. Um, I was talking about using uh, like fusible foam just to kind of give it some body. And, and I also talked about uh, placemats. I do want to use the placemats for the base I don't know, I'm gonna play around with doing it on the sides. But she said, hey Jen, what about a dish drying rack? Because your foam may not dry as quickly as one of these. I thought that is genius. I love it when you guys give me, anybody, when they tell me about, you know, something that's just so smart. So I found these at Goodwill of all places. They were $3.99 each. I don't know, you can probably get them at Walmart for about that. I just thought they were so cute because it's a bunch of uh, swimsuits, you know, and it's a pool bag. <laughs> so um, these will dry fast and they're foam. They're kind of squishy. So I'm going to give these a try also. And thank you again, Christine. I want to move on to our question for the week. But before I do, I want to tell you that everybody said my favorite feature on my machine is that needle threader, the automatic needle threader. And I guess Baby Lock does some that are air threaded, just a regular machine. It has air threading. And I didn't know that. I knew that they did it on uh, sergers, but I didn't realize they did it on regular machines. So hmm, I have to check out that baby lock situation when I go to the expo in March. 14 of you said you loved your needle threader the best. Uh, nine of you said you loved your thread cutter. And there was a whole host of other kinds of features, but uh, those were, I kept reading those over and over and I thought, wow, yeah, everybody feels like me, <laughs> the same. So this week's question is, what is your favorite part of the sewing process? Is it choosing a pattern, choosing the fabric, cutting it out, getting it to fit, putting it together, top stitching, pressing it, hemming it, start to finish? What's your favorite part? My favorite part is probably matching the fabric and the pattern together. I, I like that, that, 
you know, kind of creativity. You know, sometimes you have to rack your brain to think, okay, what do I have here in my stash? And I want to make this top. So what am I going to use? Hmm, what do I have? What's it called for? Do I want a print or a solid? Do I want a silky or a cotton? You know, all of these kinds of things. I love that process. I love going to the patterns, well, section of, you know, Joann's or wherever it is that I'm going to go and looking at all the patterns. Oh, heaven. That's my favorite. So let me know what your favorite is in the comments. And that will do it for Friday Sews this week. Every time. I totally forgot to tell you about some things. First of, of all, um, I was just watching Trish from Pinky's Farm, and she gave me this little dress. It was in that UFO box that I went through earlier this week. It looks like this. It's got this really cute little neckline. I really like it. The problem with it is that it's too short, and I let out the hem as much as I could. Why did I not think I could put one of these little slips under it? Duh. Well, uh, okay, so there's that. And then there's the... Uh, sewing Expo that's coming up in March, March, well, St. Patrick's Day weekend. That's probably the easiest way to put it. There is going to be a meet and greet for all the Friday sewers. And uh, we would love to see you. And we're looking forward to seeing each other, actually. Um, so Friday noon, RP Funding Center in the lobby. It's just right as you walk in. So Hope I'll get to see you there. Just get a, you know, what Trish and I are doing, we're not taking classes this year. I was going to take a class, decided against it, and instead I'm just going to get um, a pass to the exhibitors hall, and I'm just going to enjoy all that and all of you. So, yeah, if you can go to that, that'd be great. And lastly, we have merch. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but... We have Friday Sews t-shirts, Friday Sews tote bags, Friday Sews coffee mugs, Friday Sews hoodies. You can have a look at this website that um, I've set up for Friday Sews. And so the way you get there to the store is you go to my channel and on the top, one of those little tabs is store. Click on store and there's all the stuff that you can get. Or you can just design your own thing. Um, that was the exciting stuff. Okay, now back to our regular scheduled Friday shows, whatever I was doing before I remember to do all this. So that'll do it for Friday shows this week. Don't forget to leave me some kind of a comment. I don't care if it's an emoji. Just leave me a comment and uh, I that will qualify you and put you in the drawing for uh, one of these Simplicity 8640s. I'll have one more to give away after this week. So please do that. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to see a list of my Friday soaps, like a whole playlist, check right over here. And I want to leave you with probably what is my favorite verse in the entire Bible. It's from Lamentations. And it is chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. And I, I remember it because I used to sing it all the time. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, God. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.